can extend OpenVPN access servers built-in authentication methods using a post auth or a post authentication Python 3 script uh, to add additional user connection requirements such as multi-factor authentication or other custom checks. So uh, the post auth programming hook in OpenVPN access server gives you the ability uh, to extend the possibilities of the access server to authenticate against a source of credentials. For example, you can create a hardware address uh, checking a script to enhance the security of your uh, authentication by only allowing users with registered uh, MAC addresses and UUID strings to connect to the OpenVPN um, access server successfully. As you can see on the screen, our sample script automatically registers the device's MAC address or UUID string, but you can configure it to have complete control over it as the administrator. The post auth uh, script can accept two hardware addresses per account, but only uh, auto registers uh, the first ones. You can manually add the optional secondary address. Now, one thing to note here is that it depends on what client sends, either the MAC address or UUID string. In general, the older version of OpenVPN clients, OpenVPN2 client, send MAC addresses. And the recent OpenVPN3 based clients may send uh, UUID strings. Both options are unique identifiers for the device and our post auth script accepts and stores either one. From a user perspective, when a new user uh, sign in with a valid credential, their MAC address or UUID isn't in your access server's user properties database. So access server automatically registers and stores that MAC address or UUID in the user properties database. So the next time the user sign in, their MAC or UUID must match the value stored in the user properties database. To install or update the script, first we need to have an active SSH session to our access server. So let me bring my command prompt up. And as you can see, I, ha I have an SSH session going on. Okay, and then uh, we need to uh, type a wget command. I'm gonna put the command here on the screen and also in the description of the video. So once you run this command, uh, then we need to have uh, run a couple of other commands. First of all, we need to switch to our script directory. Let me do this here. Once this is done, we're going to load our uh, script and then uh, we're going to reload our access server. OK, there we go. So um, now we're done. Um, one thing that I need to make a note here that if you make any alterations to the uh, Mac.py file, then use the uh, commands we just used to reload the new version of the script into the configuration database and reload the access server configuration again.